Hello, uh, I'm Ralph Needham. I'm pleased to welcome you to Cockerington to see our last selection of bulls for 2024. Oliver Grandson is on my left here and Alistair Son is operating the camera. So without further ado, we'll go through and look at the bulls. I now move on to Cockerington Tully 1454, born the 19th of February 22, signed by Nanook. This bull DNA tested to be heterozygous, but he's just one hell of a good bull, this one. Um, he weighed 1,045 kilos, stood 161 centimetres, calving is very good at 4.7 and terminal index of 59. Very, very good figures indeed. Again, breeding very, very similar to some of the other bulls. Now, Nuka, I've explained. This bull's mother, Petunia, sired by Houdini, who then goes back to Carlson. This is a bull that's very, very hard to fault. Uh, he's got size and he's got he's got certainly got length and got those neat shoulders good legs just look there how long that ball is anyone producing stores my goodness this is fantastic bull for it so to summarize Tully it's 1454, born the 19th of February 22. <laughs> This is Cockington Titan, number 1464, born 26th of February 22, sired by Nanook, Swedish bull, and DNA tested to be homozygous. This is a bull that's got some size to him, got some substance. Uh, end of March he weighed 1,004 kilos and stood 160 centimetres. You can see what his temperament's like, super, super to deal with. And that would be applicable to all the Cockington bulls. Now Nuke, as I mentioned, is the sire, that's the Swedish bull, and all that line then, of course, is Swedish breeding. His mother, Jewel, very, very good cow, sired by another Swedish bull called Famous, and the grandmother is a cow called Fondy. And I can tell you from personal experience, Fondy was just a lovely, quiet cow super cow to deal with and then I can see going back there on the pedigree we go back to another very good cow called Ursa all of them exceptionally quiet little wonder this is this bull is so good to deal with so this is Titan um, he had a carving ease figure of 0 0.8 which is okay it's average and a terminal index of plus 43 <laughs> Really good ball to deal with. So that's Titan. I now m move on to an outstanding ball, Cockington Tommy, number 1472, born the 10th of March 22, sired by Nanook. DNA tested to heterozygous, he weighed 1,003 
kilos, stood 157, 157 centimetres, 2.4 carving ease, and a terminal index of plus 54. The mother, Mimi, good cow, sired by Famous, and then grandmother Fifi was an outstanding cow. And she goes side by Abnice Carlson. This is a bull with a big lot of character to him. Look at that back end, you see that crease there, it comes down. Got a nice round on him. And look how long he is and how good he is across the chine. Neat shoulders. So Tommy has a big lot going for him. 1472, born the 10th of March by Nanook. This is Cochranton Tom, number 1489, born the 21st of April 22, sired by Nanook. Mother Nadia, sired by another Swedish bull called Simon Torpudini. The grandmother, Connie, one of the best cows we've ever had in the herd, and she was the mother of a, a bull that uh, we used for AI. And again, the great-grandmother is a cow called Tilly, and again, she was an outstanding cow and extremely quiet. So, a bull that's bred exceptionally well from both sides, from the... Um, the practical aspect of confirmation, but also from the aspect of good breeding cattle. Tom is heterozygous. 24th of March, he weighed 944 kilos and stood 158 centimetres. Very, very good figures with this one. The calving ease of plus 6.6 .6 and the terminal index of plus 58. Exceptionally good figures. That's what I'd really expect from a bull of that breeding. So to summarise, that is Tom, number 1489. He's heterocyte, hetero, isn't he? Does that mean he'll leave 55% of both poles? Yeah. Yeah, just to, just to reconfirm that, he's tested to be heterozygous, so he will leave a minimum of 55% poles. I now move on to Cockerton Tobias, 1499, born the 30th of May 22, sired by Simon Torp Nanook, homozygous, who weighed 838 kilos, stood 152 centimetres, Carving ease 2.9 with a terminal index of 50. Now this bull is a much more compact bull than some that you've been seeing. But the breeding is very similar to the rest insofar as side by Nanook. And the mother Jane side by another Swedish bull called Askham Famous. And Famous did produce more compact bulls than the ones from Simon Top. And again, goes back in turn to Avnice Carlson. Very correct bull. He's homozygous again, so as I pointed out earlier, going over horn cows, he will leave all pole calves. Bull that's very, very hard to fault, except he just hasn't got the size of some of the others you've been looking at. So to summarise, Tobias is 1499, born the 30th of May 22. I now move on to Cockrington Tim, number 1503, 
born the 25th of June 22, sired by Nanook, DNA tested homozygous. His weight on the 24th of March was 1,000 kilos and he stood 158 centimetres. This bull arguably is the best bull of the year. Not only is he excellent for confirmation, his performance figures are equally good. Carving ease plus 7.5, which is amazingly good, and a terminal index of 53. So I mentioned earlier his side by Nanook, so all of that Swedish breeding. The mother oatmeal, side by Simon Torpudin, the Swedish bull, and then goes back then to Avnais Carlson, who was the first Swedish bull. And then we pick up a cow, another very, very good cow called Cynthia, Cockerton Cynthia. And further back we go to the, probably the best cow we've ever had in the herd, Cockerington Oxalis. So look at his length. And I know those of you who have seen the videos in the past, I will always emphasise about length being so important. And I will also emphasise about neat shoulders for easy carving. And I want to see good legs and, well, this, this bull satisfies all of those requirements. Just look how long he is there. This is just a very, very good bull. So to summarise, Tim, 1503, born the 25th of June, 22, sired by Simon Thorpe Nanook. Thank you for seeing the video. You'll agree that there's six very, very smart bulls there. Incidentally, just behind us here, we have three yearling bulls that we bought in Sweden. They came on the farm here about five weeks ago. And we shall be selecting one of these, at any rate, to join the herd next year. So again, if there's anything else you'd like to know, don't hesitate to have a word with us. Thank you.